guys, Jen here. I am doing a voiceover on this video. Uh, lots of people requested for me to do a voiceover because I am actually making a soap for a soap class. And um, so I actually have two cameras running at once. So I'm explaining a lot of things, and but I still wanted to have this video for you guys. So I asked in my group what you guys wanted, and 99% said to do a voiceover, so that's what I'm doing. Um, currently, I am adding my additives to my melted oils. We have colloidal oatmeal, kale and clay, and I am adding heavy cream powder. This is a 55-ounce batch. It's my standard size of soap that I make. Um, and as you see, we were doing honeysuckle. It's becoming spring. It's beautiful weather here. And I wanted something bright and cheerful. I'm going to do an in the pot swirl with this soap. And if any of you guys are interested in purchasing or joining the soap making class, um, I do do one on one videos um, if for specifically for the class. Like, I already have several videos posted in there that are not on my YouTube channel that are specifically for those wanting to learn soap making, different techniques, etc. So if you want to join and do the class, you can purchase the membership on the Be Scented website. I will leave the description or the information in the description box in this video. So we're just most divine to trace. I hope all of you guys are having a wonderful time. Had a good new year. Happy Valentine's Day. This soap is actually was made on February the 2nd. I think believe the date. So it's already a couple of weeks, a few weeks old. But we're doing titanium dioxide and we're going to do golden rod mica for the colors. Really simple, pretty design. You can kind of see I'm like off to the side because I'm showing the color to um, the class. And those videos, I've done a lot of those. Those are live videos. And um, and then, of course, you know, the ones I do on YouTube are pre-recorded. I have bunches of more videos coming up. Uh, it's been a while since I've gotten to make a video. I'm super excited. So, uh, I got into a soap and spree the other day, made four batches of soap, and it felt wonderful to make soap. I made, um, let's see, I just listed the oatmeal, milk, and honey soap on the website. See, I made that for class, so you guys didn't get to see that, but it's available for purchase now. Um, this honeysuckle soap will be ready in a couple weeks, and it'll be available for purchase. And I made sweet berry licious. I made us uh, what was it? Tobacco and bay leaf. I made um, burst of energy, and I also made uh, pink sands. A few of those, like the pink sands, the energy soap, um, the sweet berry licious. Uh, I kind of geared those towards for Mother's Day. Um, just bright, cheerful, good scents. And then, of course, I had to make something for the guys. So we did the tobacco and bay leaf, and that's my husband's favorite scent, so we did that one. So those videos will be coming up next. And I'm just giving it a little stick blend, and then we shall be doing our in-the-pot squirrel, pouring it. And I actually could not get the cutting video to record. I tried and tried and tried. Like, it kept giving me issues. Uh, it kept saying something about my memory card um, on my camcorder. and I don't know what was wrong, but it would not record um, the cutting video. So I just took a picture and I added a photo at the end of this video so you guys could see the cut soap. Um, I hate not having a cutting video with a making video. It really annoys me. Um, but I didn't, I wanted to load the video for you guys because it's been such a while since I've gotten good videos. So I was like, well, you know what? It is what it is. And I'm going to load it anyways and just add a picture, even though I hate doing that. <laughs> but I'm using.
using the new tall skinny molds that Eric makes. Um, I'm going to do a video soon with just the molds. They are gorgeous. As you can see, the corners are all rounded. Uh, he sands them all. Um, and of course, they all come with uh, little felt feet on the bottom. That way, you know, they don't damage any surface. He really takes a lot of time and care in making these molds. Um, they're glued together, then they're nailed together, and all the edges are beveled, then they're hand sanded, and yes, it's, it's a process when he makes the molds. If you guys want any, I have some on my personal website, and they're also on the Bee Scented website for purchase. He has lots of size options. We have the two pound, the five pound, like I'm using here. Um, we have a standard size, which is three and a half inches wide. And then we have the tall skinny, like I'm using, which is two and a half inches wide. And as you can see, a 55 ounce recipe completely fills the mold. And um, we also have double molds, which makes two, it's seven inches wide um, for three and a half inch. Um, and then we also have a slab mold, which does three, three and a half inch wide loads of soap, plus one inch extra for samples or whatever you want to use the little end strip for. And right now I am doing a drizzle on the top with some fairy dice mica, and it turned out so pretty. I'm going to swirl it around and call it done. And here in just a minute, you guys will get to see a picture of the soap. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Sorry it's not like my normal videos where I just chat while I'm soaping. The next few will be that way. Um, but I'm glad to be able to get this video up for you guys. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.